now you're in your uh, new WordPress manually installed. Um, it's going to show your domain up here um, until you give it a specific, uh, a specific title. And um, you can click on that to load your uh, WordPress blog. So this is on the domain brentonstrine.com, which is my domain. And then I installed it in this uh, subdirectory, Educator2. And this is just the default uh, theme with a default sort of hello world first uh, introductory post. And uh, you can go in again to the uh, admin area and it's just like uh, WordPress on wordpress.com, except there's a little bit of differences. You have a little bit more control. For example, if you click on appearance here um, and go to the editor, you have a lot more files to work with here. Um, not only are you working with uh, just the uh, CSS, but you can you have access to a lot more files. Um, all of these PHP files that kind of make everything work. So um, there's specifically files for the header, for the main index. Um, there's specific files for how the comments work. Um, and you have access to all these. And furthermore, if you have something that doesn't automatically come up in this editor here, you can go in with FTP and edit it manually here if you can find the file that you want. That's a bit advanced, so I'm not going to talk about that right now. But um, that's one of the advantages of using the, uh, the manually installed uh, FTP on your uh, WordPress FTP to installed on your own domain. You also have a little bit more flexibility with themes um, because you can install them not just through the WordPress, but by actually uploading them with FTP on your own. So that is pretty much it for uh, how to install WordPress on your own domain. Uh, thanks for watching this lesson.